Hello everyone. I know you're surprised because today normally I don't do a show on a Monday, but it may be a little test market I might be doing. So today I decided to let's do a show with one of my friends from back in the day. Well, this is Dr. Cassie Lockhart and she's out of she's originally from our hometown Alta, Illinois, which is where we are today. Thank you for watching Cedric Watts. And so today I wanted, I've been wanting to do this show with her um, for a while now. And I thought we would do it from different locations like Phoenix and, and here, mm -hmm. but she happened to be in town. And I said, girl, listen, hey, we have to do, we <laughs> gotta do this. this. Let's do this. We gotta do this, we now. Gotta do this now. And so she is in town all the way from Phoenix and she's going back tomorrow. So I had to snatch her up because you guys need to know about mm -hmm. Dr. Cassie Lockhart. She is on the show today and we're talking about transitions. Yeah. And so I want to give you a little bit about her background. And, and here's the thing, you guys. It's also episode 30. Episode 30. Hello, Mike Davis. Mike, I want you to pay very close attention to this woman here. Okay, you too, Cedric. Because <laughs> I'm going to share some great things about her in a moment. First of all, she is, uh, as I said before, Cassie Lockhart is a friend of mine from back in the day. We went to high school together. And she was the first, she's the second um, Cassie that I met. Um, so she always got a little some extra in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> because at that time, it wasn't very many of us. So, um so Cassie is, let me give you her background because I got to do her so much justice. Um, she is, as I said before, Dr. Cassie Lockhart, and she is the founder of Cassie Lynn Ministries, okay? And in addition to that, from the entrepreneurial piece, stay tuned, here it is. Uh, she is a holistic health expert, also known as Get Off the sugar girl okay so those of us who be struggling with the sugar <laughs> all right those of y'all be struggling with the sugar okay oh, <laughs> <laughs> which happens to be wall right okay <laughs> she is uh the go-to in the um health of the holistic part of our body spirit and mind and so I, that's what i love about what she does because not only do you deal with things spiritually mm -hmm. but you also deal with things naturally as well yes so stay tuned thank you for watching mark and uh michael johnson thank you for watching sir and um this is what i love about her too <laughs> she is a coach of course and a mentor but she's the creator and founder for check this out y'all when she first <laughs> said it i literally wanted to get a throat crawl and just go on down because she said the words she is the creator and founder of the grow room and the grow experience so stay tuned for 2020 because she's going to set it off in a conference so welcome to the show cassie thank you thank you so much oh. <laughs> this girl's too much y'all already know that though <laughs> y'all know that hello project rice thank you for watching this is my girl cassie dr cassie lockhart yes. and today we are doing a show about transition so right. we both can speak on that but of course since i got the expert here She's going to be doing a lot of the talking. Okay. And so um, we're going to get right down into it. So thank you guys for watching. Hey, Raquel, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Thank you for watching. So let's get right on into the nitty gritty of it. Um, you have, have walked through some experiences in life. Mm -hmm. And um, I concur that we all, and you all mm -hmm. have as well. And you get to a place where there are certain things in your life that are pivotal times that are... Uh, super transitional mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a word but I just said it okay <laughs> uh super transitional and I feel like I'm at that place as well in my life can you all agree with that for those of you who are in life transition or having hello Paul love hello Angela Monet you certainly can relate to this all of y'all we're in uh life transitions and mm -hmm. how do you embrace the challenges that come with life transitions why don't you tell us about um your story and what that looks like Okay, well, transition, um, first of all, I think we have to, you know, really understand, like, what is transition? Because it is a, it's a word, you know, we throw it around loosely, mm -hmm. and, you know, um, one of our favorite sayings probably is over, you know, like, excuse me or overlook me because I am transitioning. transitioning. You know, it's <laughs> something we say all the time, but, mm -hmm. you know, I think... Um, what does transitioning really mean? What does it entail? And when we say that, 
um, what are we implicating? So when we look at the word, you know, transition, it's going from, I, th I think of transportation. Initially, when I thought of trans, you think of trans, transition, transportation, transportation. We get in our transportation. Why? For it to carry us from one place to another place. That's what transportation does. So transitioning is literally when we ourselves, whether spiritually, whether physically, whether emotionally, whether mentally, whether psychologically, and all of those E's, the E's, E's any yeah. of those E's, we are making a statement and we are saying we are moving ourselves from one state of being to another state of being, from one place to another place. And I think it's imperative for us to understand that there's good transition and guess what? There's bad. There's bad transition. transition. And that think that's the thing is how do you what does what does um two things? Because I got so much up in here about the transition piece, so I'm trying to unpack it. <laughs> um, what does what should healthy transition look like? I know it looks differently for everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um we we all know what bad transitioning look like. Nobody mm -hmm. got to tell us what that look like. Right. We already know what that look like. We know what that feel like. Uh, we probably know that more right. than we do good transitioning. Right. So, so how how would you speak to that, uh, Um, I think good transitioning, and you know, as my sis here said, <laughs> it, it's different for um, each person because you know, think of it as a state or a process of growth. Because of course, we when we're saying transitioning, we mean we're going from a lower state, ideally to a better state. Mm -hmm. So, but people grow at different growth rates at different periods you know some faster some slower you know when babies are born yes they have that growth chart and half the time it doesn't mean anything <laughs> even though the doctor may say that your child is well you know at three months old they should weigh this much and they should be this long and now they're in the such and such percentile okay that sounds great that sounds wonderful but in the real world that is not how it always happens and so I think it's important for us to individually define what is healthy transitioning for us. What is, where are, where are we trying to get to? And then we can make um, wise steps toward that place that we're trying to get to. And it's going to look different. Like it's going to look totally different for, um, for everyone. And um, as you said, since I've come through a huge, huge, huge transition um, in the last, I'll say about year and a half, mm -hmm. I've went through a major divorce, um, after over 15 years of marriage, um, I've had to file bankruptcy, um, lost everything, you know, people who, um, at the time I felt I needed and were very close and important to me, half of them don't talk to me anymore. I mean, y'all, I'm talking some transitioning. And for me at that point in my life, it appeared, and listen to what I'm saying, it appeared. It appeared. It appeared. <laughs> Y'all, yes. please pick up what I'm laying down. It appeared. It appeared to be. That I was transitioning backwards. And so you may be going through some stages in your life and it may appear that you are going backwards. Because you may be losing some ground. It may appear you're losing some ground. You're losing some friendships. You're losing some finances. You're losing some emotional connections. You're losing some, some business partners. Mm -hmm. You're losing some ties. Your health may feel like it's going down. And it appears that we are transitioning in the wrong direction. But, you know, the Lord revealed to me and he showed me that he was strategically stripping things off of me and they needed to come off in order for him to prepare me for guess what the next level the next level so yes in that let's talk about that let's unpack that uh, i might have to lean in with this y'all so work with me um it made me think of weights you know sometimes when you see uh things being transported mm -hmm. uh they have to take certain because there's so much product perhaps they're putting on there that they right. didn't expect but it's got to go up a hill by the time you, mm -hmm. you get you know two mm -hmm. hours away you know and they're expecting you to hit a certain route that will require 
you to unload right. to be able to make it up, right. you know, up the up, up the incline. And so you have to unpack, you have to take out certain things to make the journey in your transition. Mm -hmm. Right. So what are some of the things that, that you think um work for you or what you could also recommend for others who are in life transition? And here it is. I, th this conversation started today because both of us, Cassie and I, are in a life transition, mm -hmm. and there would have there was a time uh, that I was running from life transition. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't like to. If it was comfortable, then I'm I'm down with it, right? It feels good. It works for me. Right. But this time I ran to the life transition, mm -hmm. and it didn't feel good. It wasn't, but if, it, it, it's interesting because it was a combination of not feeling good, but yet there was this liberation thing that was mm -hmm. going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited because I knew, I know this time in my life right now, right here, as it is with you and many of you that are watching, right. you know that when you make this next shift, you know when you make this next turn, that it is going to move your life in the next trajectory. Oh my God, I said my name right because you knew that I, I chopped that word up. I chopped <laughs> that word up. I got it. Trajectory. Right. And so with that being said, I'm embracing it. Right. But it's one of those things that I've said to people before. Thank you for watching, uh, William. Is that, um, for me, it's literally cloud by day, fire by night, and manna, mm -hmm. daily manna. There's, there's, some, there's not really... This this long strategy or plan. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. wh what would you say that's been like for you? Uh, yeah, Cassie? um, for me, I think part of it is trusting the process. Ooh, Jiminy Crickets. We have right. to trust the, the process. process, and that's the hardest thing because when the process is not laid out before us, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, but exactly what am I trusting? Because mm -hmm. we like to see every I dotted. We like to see every T cross. I'm saying we want a road map. We want the ins and outs. Yes. We want the ups and downs. Yes. But I personally, I had to learn to trust the process. And you mentioned about um, weight. Um, and, and so we have to release the weight. And there's different ways. I personally did that by, you know, and hopefully this doesn't offend anyone, um, staying in the presence of God, staying in the glory of yeah. God. I Thank spent the first six months from uh, the mid-January to about six months later, I just laid before God. I had my worship music on mm -hmm. all the time. I was praying all the time. I stayed in the presence of God. I turned my phone off because I didn't have no time for no riffraff and no drama, <laughs> no isms, no schism. Y'all know what I'm talking no about. No chisms. No chisms. Come on, girl. <laughs> None of that. None of the isms. I didn't have time. See, when you're transitioning, mm -hmm. you don't have time to hear the wrong things. You, you, you can't allow yourself to be a garbage can and just listen to any and every old thing because you're transitioning, you're, you're, you're growing, you're starting to go down a new path. So you have to surround yourself with people who are already on the path exactly. that you are getting ready <laughs> to go to. And so that's what I had to do. And for you, it may be you need to spend more time in prayer. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to spend more time um, reading about the things you know you're called to in that next stage. You know, whether... Preparation. Preparation. Would you say this yes. is a time to prepare? And I love yes. what, what Mike Davis said. He says, there you go. It's staying in his presence. Mm -hmm. It's a place of refreshing. It's mm -hmm. a place of safety. It's a place of intimacy. It, it, it's, it's the very thing that uh, feels you as you're depleting certain mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Would you not say? I, yes. At least that's the way it happens yes. for me. It, yes. it's, it, 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 so even though I am releasing out certain things, getting rid of the cobwebs, getting rid of the junk, mm -hmm. getting rid of the weightiness, mm -hmm. there is still a replenishing yes. that is taking place. What do yes. they call that in the medical industry yes. where you have like one part of the blood going out and another part going in? Or they're, they're cleaning the blood? Dialysis. Dialysis, mm -hmm. cleaning the blood. Mm -hmm. Okay, then there you go. Because, you know, yeah, blood is, is. is part of life and it has oxygen in it and we need it to is. have the blood. So, there you go. And that's good because... Blood transfusion. That's what it is. Of life. Tra transfusion. That's what it is. And transition. There you go. Trans transfusion. Future. Right. Transfusion. Once again, it's that exchange. It's exchange. You're going from one level to another level. Transfusion. You're cleaning, taking out the bad, and you're putting in the new. I mean, it's this, the exact same process. And with the presence of God, it's 
the thing about and i like what um what mike said is because if i'm in his presence mm -hmm. i don't have time to worry about anyone else's presence Ooh, Gianni crickets I and that includes <laughs> let me tell you the number one problem is i don't even have time to worry about my own presence so there's some okay so let's talk about that piece since we're talking about self here right i'm just saying it, she says say i love that um uh, Rachel says here, it's like the trans the it's like the tree that changes from the outside, uh, from the outside, but on the inside, its roots grow down deeper. Ooh, Raquel, mm -hmm. girl, get up out of here. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Hey, Cindy Lou, all the way from New Zealand. Thank you for watching, my dear. I know it's pretty late there, so thank you for watching. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, she said, oh, what fun. <laughs> and then to tell you, hey, Daphne Smith, thank you for watching. Yeah, this is what we're talking about is life transition mm -hmm. and being in a place of transition. But what um, what happened for you? You talk about self. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And we all, uh, it's one of those things, you said it best, was that you have to trust the process. Mm -hmm. And even in that, the the times you all when you think it's gonna take the longest, mm -hmm. uh, if you just yield to it, to the process, right. it may not take as long as you think. You mm -hmm. look up, hey, Doctor Yo, and mm -hmm. you'll look you you'll be out of that season, or you'll be on your way to the next thing. Mm -hmm. And so usually, and I, I'm a, I'm a time person. Right. I, 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 in other words, how long is this gonna take? Mm -hmm. How long? I'm not. I, I just need to know what, <laughs> and I'm really not concerned about the how to mm -hmm. I just need to know how long is this going <laughs> to take that's what I need to know right so um in that mm -hmm. you have transitioned so quickly in so many areas in such a short period yes. of time um how did that make you feel did you think this was going to be something that was, was going to take you a long time to get through or what well I, Cause I know we're all still in it. I it just had wasn't happening so for you. many people telling me they're like, "Oh, well, you've been married for you know 15 years, and you know my husband and I, we both were um, ministerial leaders. We both were in leadership, and everyone was saying, "Oh, they're like, oh, it's going to take a while for you to get over this and to be healed." And I immediately hear me. I immediately rejected that. Because I'm like, you are not going to speak death <laughs> over my process. You are not going to define my process mm -hmm. because we were together 15 plus years. You are going to speak into the atmosphere. It's going to take a while. The devil is a lie and there is no truth in him. So I would immediately reject that. And I mm -hmm. would tell people, I would say, well, you know, the God that I serve, he can heal and deliver me right now if he wanted to. He could speak the word and it can happen, poof, right now. And so I refuse to believe mm -hmm. that I didn't buy into the world system. I refuse to believe it was going to take all day for me to get out of one you know, state of being into the next and, and to start living and experiencing and enjoying my next. I refuse to believe it. And so I just, like I said, all the way into the presence of God. And I was like, God, move me out of the way. Just move, move me, me out, out of the way. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I'm saying to him, move me out of the way. I'm jumping in there with him because we have a bad habit of telling God what to do. Oh, my gosh. But then we don't like, want to do our part. He's like, would you get some more of these things? Thank you. Yeah. And he's, <laughs> our, he's like, I already did it. When I you going to do your part? It. Exactly. That's, and that's more so it than ever. Thank you. He's already done the part. Done so it. when are we going to do our he's part? Done it. Thank you for watching Sanford yes. all the way from <laughs> down <laughs> under. Sanford McMurray. I don't know if you really called no. Sanford back in the day. Not Sanford. by name. Cassie but probably Larkhart. picture. Yeah. If I seen his face, I probably would. Yeah. Cassie Larkhart is from our hometown. And, you know, <laughs> Sanford's from our hometown, you know. And so he's in uh, living now in Australia. So Ooh. so I really appreciate him. And then, of course, Rhonda, thank you for watching from LA. Rhonda, I appreciate <laughs> that. So we're just talking about transitions today. Mm -hmm. And um, w this is how this conversation got sparked. Uh, we're both in hello. I love saying this. Hello, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Pamela. Thank you for watching. Good to see you. Uh, staying tuned into the Casado Doll Show. And today, as those of you are watching, 
do me a quick super fave and please share this. Yeah, go ahead and share it and then hit the notification button in the future. So then when Cass is coming on, this Cass, because this is Cass. This is Cass too. This is Cass. <laughs> oh, this is Cass. Yes. This is Cass. We're Cass. We're Cass. But that Cass. Yes. Her <laughs> show. My show. And then, oh, and you got a show. Yeah, I have a show too. She has her show. But no, no, no. Let's, let's talk about your show. Okay, what about the show? Uh, you want to tell <laughs> people about the show when the show come on? What oh, show about? She said, stuff. what show? Oh, Cassie, you do have a show, don't you? Yeah, I do. She's trying to play me. I thought, oh, God, I thought she told me she had a show. Now I'm all up here in Never Never Land. Okay, so. No. <laughs> the best. So, so tell us a little about, a little bit, little, little, a lit, a bit about the grow room. The grow room. Okay, y'all, when she first told me about the grow room, I literally wanted to collapse, but I needed a little throw clout, and I didn't have one. <laughs> I just wanted to go. All the way to when she said the throw room, throw room. See the grow room. Maybe we need to throw something. Right. I don't know. <laughs> the grow room. Uh, that just hit my, my spirits. It resonated with me so quickly. So tell us, if you would, about the grow room. Well, the, the grow room is um one of the taglines that God gave me is um let go and let's grow. And I feel like that he gave me that because so many times the reason we're not growing is because we don't let go. We can't, we can't grow because mm -hmm. we're, we're so, you, earlier you talked about weight mm -hmm. and we're so weighed down with, I mean, I won't even get into so many things. Y'all know, you, you know what you weighed down. We're weighed down with so many things. <laughs> so many things. Hey. And when it's time for us to grow, I mean, in every area, not just spiritually, mm -hmm. I'm saying every area of our life is a challenge because either A, um, we don't know how to let go. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we really don't know what it is, you know, that's like, that's holding us back. You know, sometimes we may have fears, you know, which we've, she, we've talked, y'all know she's, she didn't broke that down on her show, you know, fears that, foolishness. exactly, that <laughs> could hinder us. So that was the thing that God just really impressed on me to start, um, the grow room and it's a private Facebook group, but, um, to start that where we come in and we talk about and we deal with different issues, um, to help us to just let go of every hindrance and, and I'm saying every area of our life so that we can really flourish and manifest God, you know, the glory within us. And when I say the glory within us, y'all, I ain't talking about up at church preaching. I'm talking about the glory of God that's in you that when you're, you're at work and that glow and that favor of God is on you in such a way that when that next promotion or that next assignment comes up, they, you're shining so bright. At their point and say, yeah, you, I need them for this next assignment. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Being in that vein, you know, to where no matter what, you know, we're on top. We're because on top. that's that's where we've called to be. We've been called to be on top. And so, you know, that's what the, the grow room the is about. Room. And like you were going to say, and we have the grow experience coming down the road. Which oh. Maybe she'll have me back on later if I don't mess up too bad today, oh, guys. No. Are you if kidding? I don't mess up too bad today, maybe she'll have me back. And I will share with you about the grow yes. experience. Something else that I have coming oh, down the pipe. Oh, so, God. So, that yeah. growth experience, y'all, I'm telling you, it's just stellar. And it's not here <laughs> yet, but I can see it already. And I just, ah. So, Alan Bunk, thank you for watching from Canada. Thank you for watching. Marja Lee, thank you for watching. Angela Watson from Oklahoma City. And Dr. Powell, are you in Oklahoma City right now? I know you're from Oklahoma City. So, yeah, I appreciate you all watching. And today's show is about transitions. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Joyce. Say hello to my Aunt Joyce. Hey, hey Aunt Joyce. Hello, Aunt Joyce. Aunt Joyce, this is my girlfriend, Kathy. Kathy, Kathy. <laughs> I really do know her. I know y'all don't think I know her because y'all saying you're chopping up her name. How y'all supposed to be like this? Because this is what she does. Because this is what I do. I need to be <laughs> doing my little vocal exercise before I go on the show to loosen everything up, but I don't do that uh, like I should. <laughs> and this is what happens. You get tongue twisted. So anyway, this is Dr. Cassie Lockhart. And uh, we went to high school together, and um, she had went into the military, did a career in the military, and then God called her into ministry, raising a family. And now she is in another life transition of becoming who she is, being her own, and starting a whole brand new life 
over and this about the last year and a half mm -hmm. she has been making some major life changes mm -hmm. that have just really set you apart and mm -hmm. i say this because i hey dr kishma george thank you for watching i appreciate you the reason why i say that is because when i saw her on facebook um this year and I hadn't seen you in about a minute. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. It's, it's like a minute, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, what is going on? Cassie looks like a different person. Hey, Brandon Hughes. Mm -hmm. And she really did. I mean, I heard the theme music. Y'all know the great prophetess, Dinah Ross. <laughs> Y'all know the great prophetess, Dinah Ross. Y'all know it. She got that prophetic song called I'm Coming Out. Oh, I want the world to know. I know I have messed up all the Christianese. I know y'all want to fire stone and bring me right now because I said, oh, you know, Dinah Ross is a prophet, providence. But you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, she she did prophesy the words. The words I, of that song are powerful. It's very powerful. Yeah. And uh, listen, it's a many a days that I had to listen to that song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, yeah, right after the worship. I know y'all said that is just trifling. <laughs> I sure did. I, there were times I needed to have that. That mm -hmm. the, I needed to know my voice. Mm -hmm. And we talked about mm -hmm. that piece is that even when you're in transition and you are becoming, mm -hmm. there's a voice that's being developed again. Sometimes it for it's the first time for some people. Right. But when I saw the right. transition on the outside, Oh, when I saw the transition on the I outside, see. I see all this. <laughs> You're silly. Y'all ain't seen them guns. Oh. She got the gun ministry. She got it. This girl. Okay. Oh, and I saw this much. beautiful, beautiful woman just, I mean, you could see the glow. You could see the growth. And I reached out to her and I was like, we got to connect. I know mm -hmm. it's been a minute, but we, and we've been rocking like this for the last several months, mm -hmm. supporting one another, supporting us around business, around ministry, around mm -hmm. life, and truly celebrating each yeah, other. That's true. You know, yes. truly celebrating yes. each other. And so you have been just, um, I, I, I love your journey. I love seeing the journey that you on. And she's so humble, y'all. Mm -hmm. I mean, she bourgeois, but she's so humble. <laughs> Uh, she's just white girl, you know. Uh, I ain't bougie. No, you are. You really are. Um, but she <laughs> has such a humility about her. Y'all can see that. Y'all, do y'all see that? Do y'all do you see the humility that she has? And so Amen. your growth is inspiring. Your transition is inspiring. Mm -hmm. What would you say to the women and the men that are watching this that are in transition, um, in life's transitions and for some, it's, it's, it's a little easier mm -hmm. than others. You know, they're not feeling all the pain and the and the agony and mm -hmm. the defeat and all of that. Uh, they've embraced the journey. And then there's others that are like, this is like a living hell. Right. Um, uh, right. What can I, what, what can you speak to from both sides? Um, I would say, find your place of peace. And... It's different, like I say, for everyone. For me, it was just staying in his presence. And literally, I mean, when I say I was on the floor, y'all, I mean, like, I had a mat on the floor. I was laid out in my living room. I would have YouTube on. I would have my playlist. And I have that playing 24-7. And I am, like, literally before God. That's my place of peace. Find your place of peace, whether... You know, whether that be um, journaling, whether spa. that be, no, seriously, whether it be the spa, I'm saying because we all have, we do. and I'm going to say this, we all have different ways, this is what I want to say, that we tap into the presence of God. Mm -hmm. So the way I tap in may not be the way that you tap in. So you want to remain plugged into your source. So mm -hmm. whether that's journaling, whether that's um, reading whether that's listening to worship music or other inspirational music that has the lyrics that are singing your heart song to the next place. Ooh, Listen Jim. to what I'm saying. She said the next Lyrics one. that are singing your heart song where? To the next place. Not where you are. Because remember, transition is about what? Where we're going next. So everything we're doing when we're transitioning, our mind and our heart is set on the next. And I think that's another thing that helps us to get over is because we have to train ourselves to not think about the past or the now, but to focus on the next. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying not to fall off here. 
because you just nailed it and you just ended this this segment perfectly is to focus on the next mm -hmm. and with that being said you guys stay tuned to the next episode this week we're going to have two more special guests this week wednesday and friday and so i've had the pleasure of having you on Dr. thank Kathy. you so much you I have to it. she already knows thank she's going to come back and she already knows that she's going to be a regular uh guest <laughs> expert on the show and so if you how do people get a hold of you uh going um, forward? i am on facebook you guys can um i'm at dr cassie lockhart that's um d-r-c-a-s-s-i-e and it's l-o-c-k-h-a-r-t not H-E-H-A-R-T. So you can find me there. Um, I have my personal page as well as my, um, what, public, whatever page. Public page. Exactly. Yes, public page. So, so what's going to happen is that I want you guys to get in contact with her, catch her uh, in the private room at the growth. The grow room. <laughs> the grow room. Girl, because I'm thinking about the experience right now. I right. should tell you guys later when you get on over to her page. But she will be back. I thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you all next week. Do me a super fave and make sure you like, share, and appreciate the engagement in your comments. As you know, have significant success on purpose. Yes. And your purpose. You, and if you catch it on the replay, please hashtag replay love as she always tell us to do. Replay love. Oh, she got it. All right. All right. We'll see you guys this week. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.